I want to talk about how to build trust and connection and the courage to recognize emotions. Despite all the ways that we have of connecting, there is this sense of being alone, this sense of not really having these authentic, trustworthy, meaningful connections with others. And how can the courage to recognize emotions help us build real relationships where we can trust each other and we know where we stand? And there's a metaphor that we use at six seconds of the iceberg. And we think about the visible part of the iceberg as what we can see. But the vast majority of the iceberg is hidden under the water. And that's what drives us. Our behavior is above the water, but our real self is hidden below. Sometimes we have a connection with somebody, we start to go deeper into that iceberg, and it starts to feel like this is real, this matters. We can understand each other, we can trust each other. And the research on relationships and trust suggests that it's not just an all or nothing thing, that we actually build our connection with others gradually. And what often happens is somebody will float a little trial balloon, they'll say a little something and be just a little bit more honest and see what happens. Somebody will say, oh, how are you doing? And somebody else will say, well, oh, not so great instead of the usual, oh, fine, how about you? That's an invitation. A door has been opened just a little bit. And now it's your turn to come back and say, oh, tell me more. Or even better, yeah, I'm having a hard time too. When we can meet somebody where they are, in their level of vulnerability, we can go a little bit further and together we can build this depth of relationship. But it starts with this courage to recognize the emotion. And, and this is really important because sometimes we think about courage as being tough, as being strong, as you know, jumping out of an airplane. And yeah, that would take a lot of courage for me. But there's another kind of courage when we take a risk, when we say something about what's real to us, we're having the courage of vulnerability. And when you hear that courage from somebody else, when you hear that little quaver in somebody's voice, you know that they're taking a risk. And it's time to honor that courage. So here, I want to try it out with you right now. You ask me how I'm feeling. And my answer is, it's been a hard day. I've been looking at the headlines, I've been seeing what's going on in the world, and it kind of breaks my heart. And you say, thank you for sharing that. You know, I, I really get what you're saying. I'm feeling some of that too. Tell me more. And I can say, you know, I see people suffering and alone and disconnected and angry and hurt. And it, I feel hurt by that. I feel sad to see all of this struggle out there. And I know we can do better. I know we can be better. I know we can take care of one another in a better way if we can acknowledge each other's feelings. This is the process of building trust and connection. One little bit at a time. It's not one side or the other. It's something we build together. And every time we're able to take that little bit of courage to recognize emotion, Every time we're able to share a little bit more of what we're feeling, we build a little bit more trust. We build a little bit more connection. And every conversation becomes the foundation for the next conversation. Hi, I'm Josh Friedman. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please share it, like it, subscribe, comment. That really helps us with our work to bring emotional intelligence everyone in the world. These are skills that are really needed in the world right now, and we need you to help us help others.